What's going on everyone? It's time for another film review. It is Remembrance Day here in Canada today, November 11th. Um, so I thought, why not do, instead of remembering the military and stuff like that, that we usually do from World War I, World War II, and even like decent ones. Um, why don't we remember back to a classic film from around that era? So we're going to talk about 1937's Captain's Courageous. This is an adventure drama film released by MGM June 25th, 1937. And it stars Freddie Bartholomew, Spencer Tracy, Lionel Barrymore, and Melvin Douglas. It's produced by Louis D. Light Lawton and written and direct uh, written by John Lee Martin, Mark Conley, and Dale Evan Every, and directed by Victor Fleming. And Victor Fleming is an iconic name in classic films and stuff because he's the one who did the legendary Wizard of Oz. He's done Home with the Wind, Joan of Arc, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, the 1941 version. So, yeah. So, Captain Courageous is, well, it's about a young boy who uh, is born in a rich family and stuff, and he's very stubborn and uh, spoiled and everything, and he, uh, goes on this cruise of his friends, and they play hide-and-seek and stuff. He ends up falling off, and as the boat sails away, another little fishing trawler picks him up, and, uh, he meets, um, this other fisherman who te basically takes a fa more father figure approach to him, and teaches him about fishing and life lessons, and everything over a period of time and you really get to know these characters together and they create quite a good friendship bond with it to the point where in the climax scene someone actually ends up dying and yeah it gets pretty emotional and as it progresses he learns the value of life and uh friendship and hard work to earn a living and all that kind of stuff things aren't just handed to you so um it's a decent little film it's only about two hours not even two hours long um and uh yeah it's from 1937 so it is in black and white so i know about 50 percent of the people watching this probably won't even check it out but um yeah uh, and uh but it's pretty well made now this is a really slow drama film it takes a while for it to go, but you really get to know the characters and get the feel of them, which is a lot of old movies are like that. And um, but it is it has some pretty cool shots of them fishing and like the sailing fishing trawlers like listing over too far and almost capsizing and things like that. They do a really the effects in it are pretty well done and still hold up. Um, it is a little different like i said though it is on the slow side and they don't do very much it's more of the drama and the emotional feel with the characters that moves the story than what's actually being played on screen and that so um yeah i thought it was an oh it's good but it's definitely not going to be for everyone it's uh pretty slow um pretty vague in certain areas um and it takes a while for fun stuff to actually happen in the film, but when it does, it really is impactful that way. And then, but then it sort of like takes a while to end. So, um, depends on who you talk to. You're either gonna love it or you're gonna hate it. So I'm gonna give Captain's Creed just three out of five. Um, it's a decent old school coming of age story that has a little bit of adventure and a lot of drama in it. So, yeah. But if it uh, sounds like something you're interested in, you want to check it out, there's a trailer link down below. Also, link down below is my Instagram, where I always post clips of films I'm going to review in the future. All my stories have the film title and hashtag and subgenre of film in the hashtag so you're aware of it. And also, um, yeah, and also link down below is my letterbox at Derek P. Reviews. That's where I post my first story and where I go into the films. Follow me on one of those two platforms. Stay in, stay in the loop with the channel. Like this video, share it to more people aware of it. Comment your opinions of the film down below if you have any. Also, if you have any films or film franchises in any genre that you want to hear my opinions on in the future, comment those down below. I'll try my as good to as I can and if I can find them. Don't forget to subscribe. Hopefully we find something weird, obscure, and odd that you probably never thought of checking out together. Or so you hear my opinions on classic films like this, popular films coming out, and reviews on other things as well. And don't forget to hit that bell because I only got about three more horror thriller films to finish off from like my extended Halloween period so we're gonna cover those 
in the next few days and then move on to something else. So, uh, but the next one is a TV pandemic style movie called Bird Flu. <laughs> um, yeah, Fatal Contact Bird Flu in America. So, yeah, tune in for that one. Uh, I know we just got out of a pandemic, but why not talk about a different pandemic movie instead? So, yeah, tune in for that. And, uh, have a, uh, watch out for all those fun uh, guys teaching our value, family values through fishing. And I guess I'll see you all in the next one. So, until then, cheers.